Evening all. Midnight we on. We're on night 32. So, nine nights. After tonight, it'll be eight nights. All for your cancer support. Easy. So, back out again in this crew outdoors. Eh, sorry, crew combo. Eh, what's it called? The tiredness is setting in again. <laughs> crew uh, duo. The crew duo and the crew cocoon. So, that's why it's called the combo. Anyway, night 32. I'm hungry. So, what are we having tonight? I did say, uh, I don't know, was it uh, another week there? I was going to have a Burns night and I was going to have Haggis. So, tonight, for one night only, I'm going to have Haggis. So, sorry, I keep saying so. Let's get the haggis out. I was going to do the haggis speech and all that, but I've already got it on a plate. So I'm just going to eat it. I'm just going to eat the haggis. So, comment below who likes haggis. Most folk like haggis, don't they? If you're a Scotsman. If you're a Scotsman, you love haggis, don't you? Right, I'm hungry. So, let's get the haggis. Time to eat. Fair fire, fair your sonsy face, chieftain of the pudding race. Yep, folks, my poetry is terrible, but it's time for haggis, neeps, and mashed tatty. So, like you say, my poetry is terrible. Huh? I stay in the shire, and I can't even write, recite Rabbi Burns. Anyway. Never mind about Rabbi. Because it's haggis. It's haggis time. Oh, you've got to, oh, you, you do need to comment below. Do you like haggis? Oh, I love haggis. Love it. So, bon appetit. Mm. Remember, some folk. Uh, I support for a broad sometimes think, what's in a haggis? <laughs> well, look it up. Eh, some folk are horrified, think, oh, that sounds horrific. But, I do I just, I love haggis. You obviously get the stuff that you can have your, your breakfast and you can have sliced stuff, but there's nothing beats like real. But a proper, just a big, a big dod of haggis with tatties and neeps. Or turn up for all those posh people out there. So I've been working the day. Working hard. As my boss says, work hard, play hard. And I've not slept in for my work yet. Not that I ever do. But I'm still providing there. Still providing the goods every day. But we really are coming into the kind of final stretches now. Nine nights to go. Probably repeat myself again, don't I? But, eh, uh, it's been an adventure. That would have been fantastic if I could have got. more time off to, to get to some further afield places. But it is what it is. But 
Obviously, I've still got to go to work. I've done no bad, haven't I? I've done no bad. But we're not finished yet. Because, like I say, I'm still with these final nine nights. But everybody knows. Everybody knows I'm going to smash this. Well, never mind the, uh, the 40 nights, let's say, as I mentioned before, I probably will go and do a 41st night as well. So, my, the guest guy, Greg, for the cult walk, I've, I've messaged him tonight, so I'm still waiting to reply, so hopefully he'll make it. But you'll all be glad to hear. The usual suspects are coming out at the weekend. So I'm going to get out of the camp where Big Stu the Scottish Wanderer, Bugsy Malone. Yep, he brings exceedingly good cakes. Uh, Johnny, hopefully. Marco, I don't think he can make it. Which is a shame because I'm going to see Marco as well. But so we know the Italian connection on the weekend, but the likes of Bugsy and Stuart and Johnny and that, so that's always a good laugh. Also a good night. I don't know, the patter's flowing and it'll be a good night. Well, tonight, another weeknight, work in the morning. So it's just solo tonight. This isn't lasting long at all. And as usual, I'm talking when I'm eating. Very rude. Mm. Oh, that's just so good. So I'd somebody comment, last bit of uploaded. Was that your new favourite winter tent? So you've probably noticed the fact that I've, I've been out in this, this tent a good few of the nights that I've been doing this 40 nights. And I must admit, that's a good tent, that's how I like this tent. But I'm going to try and... Uh, Possibly tomorrow night I might try and put the tree tent up. I've not had my, my tensile tree tent up in quite a while. It's just a wee one man thing. Again, it's something different. I just thought it'd be a good idea to try and get. If I, take, if I put the tensile tree up tomorrow night, Get that done first thing Saturday. I'm trying to think of even, even on the right day when I'm normal. What day is this? I, look, I really am kind of losing track of time. Uh, I can't mind whether this is Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> Who knows? Let's hope it's Thursday. I'm sure it is. In fact, it is, I think. So, it's going to be the weekend. Oh, yes. So, I'm probably going to hit the, the Galloway Forest. Maybe a wee, wee ch cheeky walk side location Saturday. Well, that's tomorrow night. Mm. Oh boy. Haggis, Neeps and Tatties, done. But, eh, uh, come the weekend, I'll probably take the, the hot tent 
it's going to take a hot tent. If that guy comes, Greg, I'll give him the hot tent and I'll just stick up a wee, a wee one man thing. I'll let him have the, the luxuries of the hot tent so that he's not cold or anything. Although I did notice, they did send me a video the other day, he uh, was in doing wild swimming. <sighs> Oof, it looked freezing, it looked absolutely freezing. But folks think I'm mad. Camping out for 40 nights in a row in the depths of winter, but he was in, oh, it looked, not where it just looked freezing. I would like to be able to do it, but I just don't think I could, I, could, I don't think I could immerse myself in freezing cold water. I can be out in hailstones, wind, rain, sleet, storms, I can do all that. But jumping into freezing cold water, that, that, take, that's, that takes a different type of something. <laughs> that's no me. Whereas camping, I'm your man. 40 nights, oh yeah. You know what time it is. That's brew time. Cheers. Yep. You know it's in my metal store, so go and check it out. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. Right. What are doing nails? Again, my memory's absolutely terrible. It's time for a break. It's time for a Kit Kat. Obviously, it's the four bar one, not just the wee single two thing. That's just not enough for me. But, I'm somebody, and again, I apologise, I can't remember your name. But this one particular person, we were <laughs> I don't know why, but we were talking about Kit Kats one night. And he was saying, Ben, comment below, how do you eat a Kit Kat? I know how some folk, some folk nibble the chocolate off them. This one particular guy, has been saying to me for ages, you need to do this. So he told me, he snapped the, the end off either end of the Kit Kat. I've never done this before, right? And you use it like a straw, and what it does is, it softens the inside of it. I, mean, I like dunking biscuits, but I've never actually tried this. And it kind of melts the chocolate a wee bit. So, tonight, again, for one night only, or it might not be one night only, it might be... I might try this again. You suck it like a straw, right? So we're gonna give it a bash. Right, let's see what it let's see if it worked. Mmm. You know that's a good shout. So we might as well do it with other four, the four, uh, I don't know what you would call them, pieces. So half these, half these nights now are just me eating, aren't they? just like melting your mouth on it. So, if a person that told me or asked me to do it, comment below if it was you. Finally, probably about a year after you tell me several times, I've now finally used a Kit Kat as a straw. I'm looking forward. I don't know about anybody else, but does anybody else count in the days to the weekend? I know I do. That way you work all week, don't you? You work all week. You just think, oh, I can't wait to Friday. Can't wait to Friday. 
maybe some folk think, can't wait to Friday, I'm going to the pub, or I'm going to play golf, or I'm going, I'm going to watch the football. Whereas I love, I love for the weekend, so that I can basically Sorry, I just have to finish this last bit. Love for the weekend. So I can get back out and do this. Even though I've been loving it for the last what, 31 nights. Crazy, isn't it? Let's say night thirty one, hey. Night thirty one. Is that right? No, that's night thirty two, isn't it? Or is it? I really am. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually starting to lose it. Thirty one. Alright, because there's nine nights to go. Is this night thirty one? Who knows? All I know is I've got nine nights left, so it must be, aye, it must be night 31. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think I did say, but it is. I'm not saying it's taking its toll, but... <laughs> I dare say there's not that many folk who can't take this many nights in a row. I camped it this many nights in a row. Plus went to their work. Plus other things that life throws at you. But I'm doing it. And I, I'm going to do these 40 nights, folks. Oh yes, I am. So stick with me till the final, the final night. Oh, that should be good. Uh, it'll be good. It will be quite good. I'm actually looking forward to this final night because it will be quite. I think it'll be, it's going to be a massive gathering at this year race course. And I think there's a lot of folk going to it. And I still kind of believe I'll be up on a stage. Up on a stage. Cooking. Yep. That'll be me. So. I think I've kind of, I don't know whether I did mention it, I probably did in one of my previous videos. I'm going to have to just cook in two stoves. But a wee shout out for, uh, for Ryan, who gets me a lot of kind of butcher meat and stuff like that. And he did actually, so I was around seeing him the night, and he's kindly bought me another stove. Not as if I don't have enough stoves, right? But I do quite like the look at this wee thing, and it'll be perfect for, for cooking up on that stage on the final night. So my plan is, I'll take two stoves, I think I'm going to, I just need to make it something kind of reasonably easy, so I'm going to make, I think I'll make double cheeseburgers, with peppers, onions, a bit of paprika, a bit of chilli flakes, onions, I'm just going to chuck a few bits and bobs in. Pile that at the top. Oh, should taste pretty good. And my plan is, I think I've, I've got a, I've got an hour slot, so I could, uh, I could chop it all up there on the stage. But I think what I'll do is, we're gonna a wee boy Peter job, uh, and I'll prep. The kind of veg, kind of the onions and the, the peppers and that kind of stuff, I'll prep that beforehand. And that way I just need to get up on the stage, get the stoves on, whack the burgers in, cheese, onions, peppers, spices, boom. And we should have that in the bag, hopefully. I've got an hour to do it, so I'll probably not need dinner. But then that means I'll have more time that I can just get that out of the road and then final night I can sit down and relax after that. I'm saying sit down and relax, there's going to be a lot of folk there. So I dare say there'll be a lot of folk up, up talking to me. Uh, there's a few, there's quite a few folk that I know that are also going to it as well. So it'll be good to catch up with 
the folk I know uh, and the amount of folk that have messaged me and I've, I've just said to them, when you're going in the final night, come over, come over, say hello. I'll talk to any of the folks, so make sure if you are going in the final night, you do come up and say hello, because it, it is going to be a good night. Anyway, I'm going to sit there. I'm starting to have my brew and chillax. I think watch a wee, could watch a wee film or something. Don't go away. <sighs> I'm saying don't go away. So I sat and watched a film there. And now I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> so, I've basically, oh, I've cleaned out my bag. Right, 32. 8.32? Oh yeah. So, I'm basically, I'm working tomorrow, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna crash out again tonight. It's really starting to, oh, excuse me, it's starting to kind of catch up with my back now. I'm feeling a lot more, I don't know, I just, the work and stuff, I just, I just feel tired at night now. There's probably all this fresh air as well. <laughs> I'm starting to forget. What's our bed? I've have actually got. I don't know. I've just. I've actually got. I have actually got quite used to just going to sleep in a tent. Oh, excuse the pinging. I don't know. It's just. See, see once you're in your tent, I don't know, it's just it's just nice and warm and you're in your sleeping bag and it's just I think especially the last couple of weeks it's just the weather's been wild outside. The last few nights especially it's been pretty windy and raining and hailstones and whereas tonight I must admit it's actually quite calm tonight. But I did I was talking to somebody earlier on and they were saying there's no forecast for the weekend. I don't know if it was where we're heading. I really do need to check. I'll need to check the weather forecast, but would that not be good? Would that not be good? The, the, the final weekend, bef well, the weekend before the final weekend, this weekend coming, it would be fantastic. We could get a wee snow camp in, wouldn't it? It really would be. It'd just be the business. Whether or not that'll happen, I don't know. I need to check the weather forecast where the snow is and things. It'll be a good night, it will be a good night anyway, the folk that are going. Oh, oh and I forgot to say, uh, that guy Greg's just messaged me back. He's telling me that his van's back in the garage. So, Greg, probably kill walk. I don't think he's going to make it. But don't worry folks, because myself, Scottish Wanderer, Bugsy, hopefully Johnny, we'll be out. So that'll be a good one. That will be a good one. I'm looking forward to that. I always like catching up with the, the usual suspects, as I call them. Always a good laugh. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be good as well to... I don't know, just... I find the kind of nights that I'm just... I'm, I don't know, just working all day. And I'm pro I probably am just repeat myself. you probably see me in the same tent a few nights in a row. And it's always up and out anywhere. So it's nice to see a, a kind of decent bit of scenery. So we're going to uh, we're going to somewhere we've been before, but it's just a cracking spot. And I've never actually been to this spot in the snow again. If we, it all depends how bad the snow is. If there is any snow, because I know this road to get to where this bit is, it can be one of the worst bits for snow. And I've seen folk getting stuck and coming off the road and. Obviously, we don't want that to happen, but hopefully we'll, we'll get down to that. But if not, if there's snow anywhere up there, it'll just be good if we can get a snow camp. But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of blabbering on again. So, night 32, folks, I'm going to sleep. I'll catch you in the next one for night 33. If you don't mind, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications. If you've any spare pennies, get get on my Just Given page, fling in a wee donation, 
I'm hoping at least I can break break the two grand mark, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, good night. Good night for me, and good night for me. Good night.